All right, section three, social, organizational, and personal issues. Information technology, and in particular, the internet has impacted society in many ways. Explain how the widespread use of the internet has affected each of the following privacy. Oh, I wonder if the way to go hard and talk about ad targeting and things like okay, now let's stick to the syllabus. Information can be shared very easily on the internet, which allows um, private information to spread quickly um, to many different locations on the internet. All right, so because it's shared easily, your privacy is hard because it is it, it's go so fast that it can't get away. Culture. Culture. Um, multiple people can exchange cultural ideas and um, norm via via media so as this creates cross cultural creates co cross cultural um, cross cultural cross cultural exposure for many users of like, the internet I'm pretty sure they could get it wrong now you just write just write something that makes sense government many services offered by the government can and be placed on the internet so that is in San Axel versus the yeah. rights yeah the recreation oh there's more like recreation um playing game online gives the, the ability to have fun with large amounts of people in different locations that Alright, so this this speech of questions here. Basically, how you feel this? Let's give a good example and you really can't get it wrong. In my opinion. That's what a lot of things are used in this module. Okay. Part two stage three ways in which internet users may prevent identity theft. One, use a VPN. Two, go to um unsecure websites, use HTTPS. And three or B3. Um, use strong password and two-factor authentication. All right, next. Spam as emerged as one of the biggest challenges for online users. You find it in spam. You don't have this on the syllabus. It's like they thought totally they updated the syllabus for the spam. Or do they have it? Well, I think they have it. Yeah. Spam is the unsolicited sending of um, mail slash messages to users who never requested it or unknowingly subscribed to it. Yeah. Okay, three negative effects of spam. One, it annoys people. Two, lowers credibility. Three, other negative effects of spam. Another, how? Oh. Storage. Storage, storage, storage. Yes, storage would be good. In, um, user example in storage. Okay. That, that counts, that counts. Day three spam practices users may follow to minimize spam okay one unsubscribe from email two use an email spam filter three read terms of service c4 sign it up yeah all right the management and disposal of obsolete computer equipment is a major challenge for modern organizations outline three strategies organizations that can you help manage this question? This question again. One, donate uh, devices to other organizations that may have use for them. For example, a school. I will just end up with all without waste eventually and they have to throw it away. AKA make it someone else's problem. Two, send the equipment to a registered recycling company that will dispose of it properly. Three, have a solid repair program that will see repair and upgrade program repair and upgrade program that will see to keep the devices working as long as possible computer security and health risks must be mitigated to ensure the protection of an organization's information assets and employees define each of the following two computer security that is uh, vulnerability that may be found in a computer system. Vulnerabilities that may be found in a computer system that is not raw. Yeah. Ergonomics 
is the art and science of designing furniture and equipment that reduces the amount of strain put on the users while using computer equipment. Right? Yep, sounds good, sounds good. Just three computer security. Three security. We gotta break them all the different types of malware. Viruses, ruin, bot, I guess. Trojan. And then they're probably gonna have to explain and show them. Okay, no. When this paper gonna end? Oh. Outline oh, three practices employees may follow to minimize health and safety risks associated with computer. Outline three practices employees may follow to minimize health and safety risks associated with computer. Minimize health and safety risks. Three practice one. Um, ensure the monitor is at eye level um, so that the net is not always bent. Um, um, key elbows at a 90 degree angle to reduce section and frame on the roller. Three, use a chair with lower back support that promotes proper posture. Right. What's the other one, boy? Where you had to keep your feet flat on the ground to increase blood flow? I'm so angry. Another question. Right? Placing your feet flat on the ground. Um, Natural disasters pose severe threats to the information technology systems of many countries. That is true. Discuss two strategies that may be used to mitigate the risk to information technology systems posed by natural disasters. Two strategies to mitigate the risks to information technology. Okay, so natural disasters. Discuss this in high. Do we want to go the elevate them off the ground so that they won't get flooded out? Do we want to put them in a cage so that if there's an earthquake, it wouldn't, bubble wouldn't fall on top of them. Do we want to go with the having a UPS system just in case you have loss of power? Right, let me go with a UPS. That's that's an easy one to start with. Um, UPS having a UPS. I'm probably eating my name drop it uninterrupted power supply. Having an uninterrupted power supply can can keep the system running in the case of a loss of power for a short period of time. Let's just discuss example. During a hurricane, the power line can be torn down, but the UPS will provide power. I don't want to go on the next time. Power. Two, let's say, um, information technology systems to mitigate the same thing with information technology systems. So I can't say a fire proof safe. Oh, I can say, um, um fire, su fire suppression systems. Yeah. A fire suppression system can send, can send, send, can, can release some gases that absorb all the oxygen in the civil room that will prevent the fire from spreading to the critical system. <gasps> example, Elon gas. Well, I don't know of any other example. What other examples you could have put? UPS, fire suppression. What's the other one? Elevating them off the ground. Yeah. Um, elevate over all the ground. Yeah, all about the flood. And, well, I don't really agree with it. With, if you, if you want to see it to protect it from a trick of falling things, you put it in a, a like in the middle of the building or something, something like that. Malware presents a threat to computer systems in many ways. There's two types of malware. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But then what I want to put here? There's three computer security risks. This is like rioting and hacker. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Computer security and health risks must be mitigated to ensure the protection of organizations, information, assets, and employees. I put theft and stuff for that one, not malware. I think it's theft and them thing, you know. Yeah, I think it would be um, theft and riot and terrorism. Theft, riot, terrorism. Yeah, that's what they have on the syllabus. Okay, because okay, yeah, security risks. Yeah, the context that they're talking about here is the organization. Although it could be malware to her, but I see that one malware question here, so then it would make sense for them to, to talk about it twice. So, worms, but version. I outline two effects of malware attacks. Um, one loss of data. Um, the systems can be the what do I not say that slowly? The data in the systems can be deleted by viruses and critical systems and 
then the, the useless example um, it means it was two um, um, lost our account our account our account our account our account our account locked in our accounts locked in our accounts for deleting our data the malware and send data to remote server to remote servers um, without any trace of any trading that's on um, the system For example but in a botnet yeah yeah you can you lose data data deletion of data loss of data leaking of data here yeah, you'll have user accounts created user accounts deleted yeah, but those should be straightforward enough